Welcome back, everybody. Last time we were taking finishing our tour of Nalara and got on the white boa. It's both the fallen. And we are ready to do this. I just did a few little talking to people getting treasures, and one of them is right here. And we'll head up here and talk to Ming. You should see the look of this. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but that that's like all of Numara there. Just like it's like a bunch of bushes, but yeah, that's Numara. So Numara is huge. Nice shoes. Interesting. Although I guess you can't really avoid those, but whatever. Do you really mean it? I can't say what Gongora might be planning. For him to remain in this world for his own selfish ends. But you want to remain for love, don't you, Ming? Not about him. About you. Don't you want to stay and save Namara? There's something else to stay for, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I find ironic is Jensen and Ming both have the same same hairstyle. <laughs> and Jensen is speechless. How priceless. Uh, uh, a bum? Like me? <laughs> a commoner? I am not a commoner. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to this, you know. Uh, get, get getting serious like this, and well, I, I, I mean, you see, you're queen, uh, you, you got a castle, it's you know, own your own country, you know. I, 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 I'm serious when I fall in love, I mean, you know, I don't play around like that. I mean, I mean you're right, Jensen. You know, I am good looking and kind of irresistible, I, I, I but, but, but see, I never thought you'd get serious about me. And, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I mean, you being immortal, and I'm just, you know, just a regular guy, uh, you know, good sense of humor, you know, but I, you, the you, I don't know what to say. Help me. The queens shouldn't fall in love. Well. I like the little Batman belt he's got there. I never noticed that. The utility belt. And the beautiful sunset. Strong Jensen. Okay. 
I know you're there. Who am I talking to? Kids. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> they do a really great job on this this game. It's not. Uh, I wouldn't say it's perfect to reality, but it is a really good job with the interaction. I mean, that kiss was actually rather well done. You don't see that much in video games, even nowadays. This is a really beautiful world. So let's uh, come see these kids. <laughs> she likes you. You two little snoops. That's sweet. <laughs> He's blushing. You're so cute, Jason. Ow, what are you, Seth's sister? <laughs> uh, Aunt Ming, this is the guy for you? He's the only one for me. I think Justin's testicles just dropped. So that's pretty neat. They're loading the Nautilus for us. Apparently they found the slant nose. Apparently we're going to take the engine back that they installed. Are this coming from a pirate? Wanting them to return the stuff that they found. Yeah. Find that hard to believe. Yeah, the white bow is really slow. White bow is ridiculously slow. Alright. Well, that's awesome. So the Nautilus is going to be fully repaired and we'll be able to use its full utilities. And hopefully it will let me start doing this. We'll show you a brief glimpse of the vehicle. No. Here's the Nautilus. No. And it is very, very slow. Yeah, it takes a while to get going. Now if you press the B button, you'll launch the Nautilus. Here it is. If you go up to it, it says A. You'll, uh, you'll be able to you know, put the Nautilus back on. The Nautilus, Nautilus has a new function. You can now jump. I don't know why it jumps, but whatever. But, even better than that, hold the jump button. Booyah! We are flying in the frickin' air. Is that not awesome or what? I don't know why I'm... I, you can't really control the altitude or anything, so... I don't know why I'm... You just go left or right. Anyways, let's flash down. 
and it just dives right into the water. Uh, so, we are going to head to the... Well, it opens a few places for us. But today... I think we are going to end... The refugee camp. Now hopefully I can get this to work. <laughs> Don't know who this guy is. Uh, maybe it's this guy. Yeah, it's this guy. So here, we're going to try to fix something. Sid is going to look at it, and there are six broken engines. So there are six broken engines around uh, the encampment here. So we'll start with the one up the front here. And just kind of work our way around. Tick tock. I'm mostly doing this because I don't know where the hell I'm going to go next. I didn't think I would actually get through this much so quickly, so I haven't decided what I'm going to do next. Well, I know what I want to do next, but it's I, it's going to take a little while to get going. I believe this is also the final in the Sid the Handyman side quest. If we go around and we head down the stairs finally. So you want to rush and get there quickly, but then when you rush, you kind of get stuck on stuff. And that becomes highly annoying. I believe there's five of these. Two in Salmon. I don't remember. One in Numara. I think there's one in I don't remember. But I think there's like five or six of these little Sid the Handyman side quests that you can do as soon as you get a full party. There's, you can't quite notice the little ring sticking out there. I think this one is the one that probably took me the longest to find when I did this side quest. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. And five death powders. Sounds good. So let's find out what I want to do next. I'll just go off the shores of Numara here, or Ura here, not Numara. So before you can jump, you obviously have to pick up speed. And you have to hold down the jump button, and he'll fly into the air. Beautiful, isn't it? It's really, really cool. So, I think... I'm guessing Kent sank into the ocean from the ice storm. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but for now, I'm going to head... should see sort of... If, yeah, there's water surrounded by uh, tall mountains here. So if you kind of go... Slightly north, splash down, and dive deep underwater. Should see. Oh, well, first of all, there's probably some treasures around here, but can't see them offhand. In fact, I can't see shit. There we go.
Yeah, I can't see shit. I'm just running into everything. Oh, I went back around. Come on. I'm running into a wall. There we go. No, turn around. Okay, I will get this, I swear. It's like very light right here. There we go. Alright, folks. So I'm going to end it here for today. In the next episode, we'll take a further look around. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.